What's up everyone, this is Tech Break, and today we have an unboxing of the self-balancing two-wheel smart electric scooter, otherwise known as the mini Segway, or the hoverboard. We will be unboxing the 10-inch model. Now this is a little bit bigger than the normal one, the six and a half one that you usually see on YouTube or off in the streets. But this is the beefier version, so we're gonna check it out and see what you get inside the box. I'm also gonna have a full review of this hoverboard and a full comparison between the 10-inch model, as the one in this video, and the six and a half one to see which one is better and more suitable. But let's see what we get inside the box. So the first thing you notice is this little whack of a paint job right here. It looks like color splats, but there is some logos and designs on this. So it's not really my taste. I'm also gonna have a tutorial on how to paint this, so stay tuned for that. We have the manual, nothing real exciting about that. Now this is a lot beefier and a lot bigger compared to the little model with the six and a half. There's really not too much in the box. You do have some cords right here and this is used to charge it. And there's also this keychain right here to turn it on and off and to lock it. And that's everything you get inside the box. Now let's take a closer look at the hoverboard itself. My first impression is the wheels on this are huge. There's a huge difference between the 10 inch model and the six and a half. The hoverboard still seems smooth just like the other model. And we're going to actually put this to the test, so look out for my full review. With the 10-inch model, there are also lights on both sides. They're also the same purple lights that you are used to. And up on top. So like I previously mentioned, the wheels on this are a lot bigger. And it's also a good benefit for this is you can go over most turnings now. You can take it in grass, wood chips, rocks, and you don't have to worry about all that goodness. Something a little odd though, the charging port and the power on button are located in the bottom. And I'm not really a big fan of that just because... This isn't waterproof and especially not any more waterproof since the, the ports are open and they're located on the bottom. Well that's it for my unboxing of the hoverboard in the 10 inch model. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any exciting content that I release. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway with the hoverboard. So you don't want to miss out on your chances for winning. Well that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Tech Break signing off. Peace.